Hello all, welcome to this session. As all of you know that there are so many test automation tools that are there in the market. But the problem here is how to learn them because some company is asking for one test automation tool, some other company is asking for another test automation tool, some company is asking for a test automation tool with a different programming language and different test automation tools require different languages for us to learn and many more blockages, right? So uh, this makes us worried, right? As a you know software tester, these days we are getting worried. Okay, if you go to the olden days, it was very simple, guys, straightforward. One or two automation tools used to be there, and uh, it's it was very easy for to you know learn them. But nowadays, if you are getting started with software testing, and if you are into manual testing, and if you want to upgrade to automation testing, the main problem here is so many test automation tools in the market, and there are few people still there who are you know afraid of programming also then how can they learn so many test automation tools when there are many in the market and they are actually really confused okay the people or software testers in the market are really confused like uh, which automation tool i need to start learning first and uh, how to tackle all these automation tools because i need to put all these automation tools in my resume otherwise i'm not going to get any calls interview calls and all these are all the problems that everyone is facing i'm going to give solution for these guys just wait for a while, okay? So let's go here and let me first mention step by step. I'll go, guys. Okay, let's know, let's not hurry up. Okay, coming to the test automation tools. You see, what are the test automation tools? The automation tools which will perform testing on behalf of the software testers are called as test automation tools. And as you already know, the test automation tools cannot think by themselves. We as software testers have to write the code in some languages like uh, Java, Python, C Sharp, Ruby, JavaScript, etc. And uh, give that code as instructions to the test automation tool. And the test automation tool by using our code as instructions will perform the testing on our behalf. Okay. But what are the different test automation tools that are there in the market? The famous one is Selenium we have. And the other famous one these days is Playwright. Then we have Cypress, Tosca, right? Testim. Then, uh, UFT, test complete, and many more, okay, protractor, and you know, many other tools are there in the market, many other test automation tools are there in the market, like we also have APM, uh, then we have rest assured, okay, the important ones I'm writing, rest assured framework, and many more, okay, many more test automation tools are there in the market. But is it possible for a single software tester to learn so many tools? Yes, it is possible, guys, if you plan it very well, it is definitely possible. You see, I recommend anyone who is new to this test automation, who is uh, who is into manual testing, but not into the automation testing. And if you are uh, like overwhelmed with uh, this many number of tools and you are confused, like which tool I need to learn because which is demand. These are the different questions I'll be getting guys. Okay. Do I need to learn Selenium or Playwright? This is another question I'll get. Or which one I have need to choose. Okay. Which one has demand that I will learn, they will say. But I recommend for everyone guys, start with Selenium automation tool, no matter what. Okay. Whether it is in demand or not, the main thing that you need to start the test automation journey is start with the Selenium test automation tool and, uh, you know, give your complete time for learning only these tools, remaining all tools, you just uh, fade it out for a while. Okay. Fade it out while you are learning Selenium. Don't worry about uh, how many tools are there in the market. At least master one test automation tool. Once you master one test automation tool with one, with one programming language. Okay. You can choose, uh, I recommend Java. Okay. I recommend Java for you guys. When you are learning Selenium automation tool, even though Selenium works with different programming languages like Python, C Sharp, uh, Ruby, JavaScript, along with Java, right? I recommend everyone to start learning uh, a test automation tool that to Selenium with Java programming language I want, okay? This way is a starting point. Now, once you become a, once you become good at this, okay? Once you become a good with, uh, become good with one test automation tool with one programming language, uh, the doors for the okay the doors for the automation world will, and this test or different test automation tools will open okay the test automation world will open the doors for you where all these tools will be available for you and ready for you and that doesn't make take much time only this part will take much time guys selenium with java will take much time remaining all tools will not take much time once you are good with selenium java right it's like, you know, within a matter of weeks, you can complete these things. Okay. It's nothing much guys. Okay. It's nothing much. Only one automation tool, one programming language. If you are good with, okay, give equal importance. Okay. If you give 50% importance to one learning Selenium automation tool, give the same 50% importance for learning Java. 
language also okay in that you don't have to learn the full complete java you don't have to learn if you are learning selenium right core java part is enough for java okay you don't have to go for advanced java give 50 percent focus or 50 percent weightage for java while learning selenium java and 50 percent weightage okay the same level you have to treat both of the items guys okay and uh, when you are dealing with selenium java right you will also work with locators path you will also work with locators path right you will also learn about locators okay you need to learn locators like xpath expression cs selectors and all which uh, will help selenium in finding the u elements on the web page that's why i'm saying is if you spend some time in learning this selenium java and if you accomplish this uh, selenium java then you are good to go okay then you are good to go so remaining all tools doesn't take much time you know uh, in place of a programming language another programming language may come in place of this automation tool another automation tool will come the locators may be same for most of the automation tools guys okay if you understand one locators concept all the locator concepts in different automation tools you can easily understand okay so if you drive one car remaining all cars you can try and drive okay you see driving the first car is difficult driving the first car is difficult whatever the car you choose if if you are driving it for the first time you never drive to, you never drove a car okay and you are driving the car for the first time uh, to get uh, to learn the driving of the car for the first time is it difficult after that you may come across different cars for which you don't have to start from scratch you know whatever the knowledge you gain in the selenium commands will be the different uh, methods or commands of selenium automation will be there if you go to another automation tool like playwright it has its own commands just you have to learn other commands that's it okay selenium has its own commands for doing different activities playwright will have its own commands for doing different activities and locators will be same playwright also will use this kind of locator selenium will also use the similar kind of locators your programming language is there okay uh, playwright also will support different programming languages so you can either choose java or typescript or javascript javascript and java are almost similar and if you want to learn apm apm uses java only if you want to learn, uh, let's say, REST Assured, REST Assured uh, framework also uses Java for API automation, for mobile automation, APM for mobile automation, REST Assured framework for, uh, you know, uh, API automation, uh, like that. Then, then you go for Cypress. Here in Playwright, if you already have run, learned JavaScript or TypeScript, Cypress, that will be coming to use. Tosca is there, Testim is there, UFT is there, all these tools you can easily run, guys. The number of tools may be big, but drive the first car in a proper way if you if you learn how to drive the car in a proper way let's say selenium java with locators and all if you have learned in a perfect way then these automation tools will take you know within two or three weeks of time you can strike off this playwright within two or three weeks of time you can strike off this cypress within two or three weeks of time tosca test team like that guys within one or two weeks or three weeks of time or max four weeks of time you can strike off and with confidence you can strike off guys okay because you already got, have gained this knowledge you already have gained this knowledge on selenium java automation that will give you the confidence in uh, learning these tools in a faster way but only the problem here is people jump like a mon monkey from one to one automation tool to the another automation tool people jump from here to another automation tool from uh, the, before learning it properly they will go to playwright someone will say playwright is not good so, uh, tosca is very good they will jump onto tosca uh, tosca and they didn't learn selenium well and playwright also didn't well they didn't do it well then they will go to tosca and uh, there also by the time they use this testing is now demand everyone in the company are using testing they will with with half big knowledge of tosca they will move to testing like that people are moving from one automation tool to another automation tool without learning those things in depth okay that's where the problem is try to drive one car in a proper way first then drive all the remaining cars in this in my example car is nothing but a test automation tool okay if you know how to drive one car you can drive all the remaining cars in a proper way so gone are the days where you know you only have to uh, if you have some knowledge on uh, manual testing is enough guys okay gone are the days now the current days are very competitive we are in the competitive world and everyone is competing guys okay so start driving one car learn one one automation tool with one programming language in a proper manner and then uh, without wasting any time keep learning other stuff keep learning other stuff guys okay this is what is the thing and uh, behind all this automation tools and all i would like to give one more advice where let's assume that you have learned java right don't leave java after after completing selenium java uh, whatever the java you have learned for selenium don't uh, don't stop there okay try to learn java in depth in into the next level to the next level and every day challenge yourself in java in to the next level because 
most of the interviews these days are not only asking about this automation tools but are asking how uh, are, are also checking how good you are with this programming the more you practice java right okay the more the chances you will get selected in an interview okay so the most of the questions are coming from java guys there are a lot of platforms these days the, uh, sky is the limit for you to learn java guys uh, basic programming you can learn basic logic you can learn and practice basic programs then you can go for data structures algorithms you can go to lead code hacker rank and all those stuff and practice every day don't leave java at least spend half an hour or one hour of time every day on java programming every day you do that for a period of time you will be able to crack the interviews in the easiest manner as easy as possible guys okay these are all the suggestions i would like to give guys the conclusion here is if the, uh, though there are a lot of test automation tools in the market this this automation tools are only for us to use them as keywords and put in our resume okay so that we'll get more calls but ultimately even though there are too many automation tools you don't have to worry guys learn one test automation tool completely and become confident in that and uh, learn all the strategies that are required for test automation and all then you will be entitled to complete all these remaining automation tools in less amount of time guys okay it happens like this even selenium java you can learn selenium python you can learn selenium c sharp you can learn selenium javascript you can learn you know uh, the sky is the limit for that that's what i'm saying right migrating from one automation tool or one language of the automation to another language is doesn't take much time guys if you focus well two weeks if you don't focus well max four weeks okay two to four weeks you can complete one uh, each and every automation tool and keep adding this automation tool to your resume so that you will get a lot of job calls okay so hope guys uh, you got some information from this uh, session like uh, how to tackle the current uh, day situations where a lot of test automation tools came into the market and uh, we as software testers are worried like which automation tool we need to learn and all those stuff Hope you got some solutions uh, from this session and hope you will implement and uh, get successful in your career. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.